the, the things that control dairy cow production certainly would be nutrition, uh, genetics and environment. We're blessed with the fact that we're surrounded by really high quality feeds for dairy cows. The genetics are a long term thing. It takes many, many years to build up the genetics that you want in a herd. Uh, the environment are things that you can control every day, you know. What we're trying to do with dairy cows is actually not change anything, you know. In the perfect world, we, the environment would always stay the same, the diet would always stay the same, so we could maximize the, the milk production. We're not just bringing in any feed, it's all controlled from a computer. We actually, our computer program is linked to the weather station in Watertown, so if it rains, our corn silage and our hay and our haylage, anything that's outside, the dry matter is automatically adjusted up because it rained. We don't have to do it anymore. You know, computers are running the program. We're linked into weather stations to just dry matter on feed. Uh, we're sampling feed. There's a nutritionist in the farm every two weeks that's running samples. He's checking milk quality. He's looking at all the things that go into that. The delivery of feed, like, you know, within 10 minutes, the same feed is delivered to the same group of cows at the same time every day. You know, that's all based on protocols and routines, vaccination protocols, are built around windows of opportunity when the cow is moving between different pens. So every load of milk that leaves the farm here uh, is sampled for like uh, butter fat, milk protein, lactose, other solids and somatic cell count. Uh, it's also tested for antibiotics before it ever comes off the truck. So there's no way it ever gets into the system if there's any antibiotics. We know that there's none because any cow that is treated with antibiotics is not milked in the milking parlour. It's milked in a separate little milking parlour down here by a separate team of people. Each cow here has a transponder around her neck and that is her ID. It's her electronic ID. As she enters the milking parlour we identify her and we know which stall she goes to and therefore how much milk she gives and the quality of that milk. It also tracks her movements throughout the barn, uh, so we know which pen she's in, for example, and uh, we know how active or unactive she has been for that day. A cow that is in heat and ready for breeding is much more active, like five times more active than normally. So you get a sudden spike in her graph. And what it has done, it has meant that we use a tremendously, a, ter a tremendous amount less hormones for breeding shots than we did probably less than half, right? And our reproductive numbers have improved, you know? Because we have an ID in every cow and because we know what each cow is producing and milk quality, we're not feeding inefficient cows. We're making sure that each cow is paying her way here, that each stall is a motel room and each motel room has to have a paying guest. We also can track the amount of time they spend feeding. You know, when their head's down in the feeding position, we know um, and when they're laying, we know. So we can, we can measure a lot of the cow's activity. Pick up sick cows, lame cows, uh, quicker and maybe get them treated better because of that. It's, it's also a good tool for the management of the cows. The, guy, the guys know where the cow are and what they're doing. Yeah. From a dairy point of view, I think technology is going to be very, very important. Uh, I think margins are always going to be, be tight in dairy business, it's just the nature of the business. There's some very efficient dairies out there worldwide. Uh, so you've got to compete and be better than the rest. So embrace technology. Uh, never forget the important fundamental things, nutrition, environment, and cow comfort. Uh, all the things that go into a, a, a healthy, uh, well-fed, good cow.